Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and this is my co-host Lola and you are watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Today is Thursday, yeah it's Thursday June 25th and this is my not quite daily crafty chat where I talk about everything I have done in the last day or couple of days or if we are speaking weekend probably last three days. So today once again I have a little bit of everything for you. Um, I did all my crafts, yay! <laughs> Mostly because I skipped a day because quite honestly I did not knit on, on um, what was it, Tuesday, Tuesday. I don't know what was up with that day but I had so many phone calls right after work that I had so little crafting time. I managed to barely do a section of diamond painting and then I, I poured all the rest of the time into my stitching. But I'm going. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start as we always do and there's a bit of a bit of clipped off drill on the painting. Um, let's start as we always do with a diamond painting. So as you know this is a diamond painting that um, the lovely Rwana and Reggie from Diamond Shop gave me to be an ambassador for this new release um, of their newest artist Jeremiah Morelli. This painting is called Where Stars Come From. It's a 50 by 50 round diamond. It's also available in square if you prefer square. So Diamond Shop has both round and square. I can't tell you anything about the squares. I have not tested them so far. So I can tell you the rounds are good quality square. Probably are too, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of square. If I can get round, I will always pick round. So um, yeah, Jeremiah is their newest artist. They have just released him on June 15th. And right now uh, me and, and the whole bunch of ambassadors are running this giveaway an introduction to him where you can actually win a painting of your own. Each ambassador can give away one at the end of the month and if you're interested to do that and have not done so yet please check out my unboxing video for this canvas and enter the giveaway. It is still going to run for uh, four more days and probably about 14 hours but at the point you're seeing that more like five hours <laughs> so or in other terms it's still running until the 29th midnight my time time zones are in the description box of the unboxing video or use the google time zone converter it's a very nifty tool anyway i have told myself I'm going to finish this painting in time for the giveaway to end so that I can add it to my wrap up video on the 30th for the diamond painting theme of the month because I've, as you might or might not know I'm running this diamond painting theme of the month thing where I introduce a new theme on the first of each month and I do wrap up video of the month on the 30th and if I do things that um, either do not fit the theme because I had already finished my painting I had put on my list for for the month or um, I had so much time that I could do another one fitting the theme whatever happens it's going to be in there um, I guess this month is a happy coincidence because my theme for this month is happily ever after and what that basically means is anything that that is in even the remotest way connected to fairy tales and I think this one here can easily apply. It is with this little cat holding a, a star stuff. It is very obviously a fantasy canvas. <laughs> so where are we with this canvas? I have split it into 10 sections. Each section is um, 25 by, by 10 centimeters. And I have so far completed six of them. So I'm still on the way to success as far as finishing this in time for the 29th is. Also, I have now added uh, three, four of these star beads in total. Like I said in my last video, you don't have to do it. I do it. Um, 
with the star shaped beads i'm doing my best to place them so that they cover all the symbols and i can still place full drills around them sometimes it doesn't work that way in these cases i use just the standard nail clip to clip the the drills in half and usually that helps to either cover the symbols or if there's too much background color visible um, to cover this up but if you are not like me and you're not easily offended by gaps you might not want to do that <laughs> because it is a bit a bit crazy pants but that's how far we are and I think it is looking very very good I love how, how all these colors come out the symbol issue is definitely there so by now I have had sections where I was talking about the upper S and the lower G last time that I had not seen them together so far and wasn't sure if they were easily distinguishable. For me they are, thankfully, but I still think it's an unfortunate choice of symbols. Same for the uppercase D and B we had in these purple and, and red sections down here and the lowercase a and e which is in the dark blue background because it's 820 and 939 also not the best choice so if you have trouble with this um this canvas might give you a bit of a headache um yeah i have to remember to tell ron and reggie about it because they might want to to talk to their um, factory to see if they can't change it up a little bit so that at least these symbols don't have similar colors um, it's fine if you have these symbols on your canvas if the colors are super different and they are not in clusters together like in this canvas then it's fine but um, for this one it might be a bit iffy it's not giving me personally trouble but I could imagine that it could give a lot of people a lot of trouble so anyway, we are now approaching the upper part of the tree, the tree crown, and in there we should be able to place a bunch of the fourth kind of special bead, which I haven't touched yet, which is the, the sapphire beads. So they are supposed to go, and I'm sorry the lighting is going to blow this out spectacularly. Maybe if I put the foil down, it's a bit better, a little bit. So in the darkest part of the tree, that, that's where they are supposed to go. Um, with these canvases where you do your own special treatment, I always recommend that you go back once you have finished your whole painting and see if you might want to change something up, add more special beads, maybe take out a few. The port glue method is very forgiving, so you shouldn't have any trouble at all to do that. Um, yeah, and I hope, I'm not entirely sure, but I hope I can show you this finished on Monday. We will see. It's just four more sections and theoretically um, I should be able to do it with one section a day. But I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm feeling a tiny bit burned out right now with, with the diamond painting. Um, so I don't know if I'm actually going to do it today. On the other hand, there's finishing frenzy, which I always get when I near the end of a canvas. So it might very well be that I'm going to do two or three sections on one day on the weekend. <laughs> it has happened before. I never plan to do it, but it has happened before. So that's basically all I have to say about this painting. Four more sections to go. The giveaway is still running for four more days. If you would like to enter, please check the unboxing video on my channel. It was released on June 15th. Okie dokie. So kitty, can we manage that now that you're using my hand as your pillow? So next up is, it seems the cat. <laughs> Hi kitty, <laughs> could you move to the side? Come on, yeah, no mom. Next up is stitching and I'm still working on my beautiful things by Lindy Stitches. As you can see, I've moved it a little bit on the scroll frame um, because it gets very uncomfortable if you have to work here in the upper parts and you have the whole thing stretched out. That's basically a 12 inch, um, 
width that you have there or height that you have there and it's, it, it gets very uncomfortable if you have to stitch on the upper part so what I usually do and I think I'm going to adjust the scroll frames over the weekend even to make the section a bit smaller as you can see I still have that was my mouse going on the floor thank you cat I still have a few of these holes where I can make the whole thing a bit smaller I might actually do that because all the stitching I have left is going to happen now here and up here and down the side this is also something I would like to finish this month so I have five more days to go for that I have a feeling that I'm going to put the knitting a tiny bit on hold just to finish these two projects I had planned to finish in uh, June so please don't be surprised if you don't see a whole lot of update on the knitting on Monday there isn't a super big update today today either so yeah <laughs> poor knitting is taking the back seat again um yeah but what have i done since you last saw it um i finished the bird obviously and i finished this little twig here that was not there and the flower the twig and the flower is actually what i did yesterday Yesterday was a pretty slow day as far as stitching went. Um, I'm usually not that slow, but hmm, something was up. Also, I know that, that Stephanie, the designer behind Lindy Stitches, is not watching this. But I have to say, Stephanie, you are quite the troll. <laughs> there's, in this whole pattern, if I haven't overlooked something, in this whole pattern, there's exactly one stitch of 310. One exactly Nelly I hope you could hear her um, and that's his eye I I saw that and I just know <laughs> why why <laughs> I mean I have tons of black black and white is is basically what I keep a metric ton of on hand because it's it's usually in every single pattern but it would have been easy very easy to use the darkest brown instead <laughs> yeah okay it's the one you can barely see it down here um the one that does the soil most of it is down here um so you can't see it right now that would have worked as well but so far i'm, I'm pretty happy how this is working out i think in hindsight i would have liked to use um an over dyed floss for for the flowers because it's it's dmc it's fine but these these flowers are just one color block, all of them. There's no shading in them. And I think it would have looked very good with a floss like this that has a lot of variegation. And yeah, if I ever stitch this again, I'm going to change these colors for sure. So hopefully when you see that next, it is either completed or as good as completed. Or no, it's not. You're going to see this one next time tomorrow. Um, because tomorrow is floss tube, so tomorrow won't be a regular crafty chat. It will be just floss tube, and um, so yeah. So I guess you're going to see this one tomorrow. <sighs> and the plan is to keep on stitching on that because I want to finish it. So now we are entering Fight Club. Honey bunch, I know the knitting is super soft and cozy, and yeah, you get the murder look. So you have a little sneak peek of the yarn I'm going to show you with a new project in a moment. No, I love you kitty, but I don't want you to kill this. So basically more of the same. I am now at 37%. The cat is killing it and I'm trying to put my arm in here and keep her from killing it and showing you as much as I can of this. It's now getting too big to get it all into frame, but I think you can see it this this way. Arr, catch myself a cat. So this way you can probably see most of it. Yeah, I know. I know. You are mortally offended by me. I get it. Um, yeah, and yeah, you can see the eyelids. Yay! <laughs> You can see the eyelids. So this is 37% uh, still a long way to go until this middle section is done. 
um, but it's it's actually coming out very nicely so let's show you how much I did in comparison to last time you saw that because I did remember to put the process progress marker in so this is where you saw it last time and that's what I did basically yesterday because like I said I didn't I didn't knit on Tuesday yeah oh no 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 oh no 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 remember that's what hurt you on Friday so let's not eat that. Let's not eat that. Life is so much better. No, not the progress marker. That is screaming emergency room. No. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ow, that was my finger. <laughs> she didn't actually bite me, but uh, yeah. I think it's it's actually the smell of the of the yarn that makes her so crazy because it smells like animal. It's the only explanation I have why she goes completely bonkers as soon as the knitting is up on the table. Okay, that's good. All right. So this is not really interesting to look at. I know um, it won't be for quite a bit of time, I think, at least until I start the side sections and either are totally happy that I can manage to follow the instructions or go crazy because I don't understand what people want from me. <laughs> but let's move on to future project. So this, I'm going to move that aside. This is a skein of yarn I bought from an Etsy seller called Lemon Glass Yarns. Again, a UK-based dyer. There are so many UK-based dyers, and they are just. It's not that I don't, would that I didn't, or I wouldn't want to to buy from the US buyers. There are fabulous US dyers on Etsy that do a phenomenal job of um, of dyeing the yarn. And I would, oh, if I could, I would buy so much more yarn <laughs> than I already do. <laughs> which I really shouldn't. Um, but it's so much more affordable for me to buy from the UK. Um, even within Europe, it's very, very variable where buying from actually is feasible and not. But the UK, UK usually is. Um, and this was actually one of the first UK-based Etsy dyers I tried. This is a yarn called um, Long Tail Tit. And... It is on the base she calls Snuggly Socks. It's basically an alpaca merino nylon base and it is super, super soft. Um, it is not as soft as my luxury alpaca I get from Hetero Yarns, but this is still so, so soft. I absolutely adore it. And I love this, this um, color combination of mostly neutral gray, black and white, and then this tiny, tiny bit of lavender. It's so pretty. And I was so sad that I only managed to get one. She has not re-dyed it since either. But um, honestly, these hand-dyed skeins, if they don't come from the same batch, they probably won't match up. So I guess it's not a problem that she didn't re-dye it. Um, so I have now decided, since I only have one and I need a one skein project, that I'm going to try yet another cowl. And it's once again one from Erin Currup. It is called the Birch Grove Cowl. I think the Birch Grove Cowl is actually the one that also has a shawl with the same name, um, which might happen one of these days. Who knows? <laughs> but this is what I what I would like to do with this yarn, and I think it might look really, really good. We will see. I have another snuggly base yarn from this seller, but I have not chosen a project yet. For that one, I managed to get two. So I am on the on the hunt for a two skein pattern um, that is hopefully not mostly garter stitch. <laughs> that is actually a big problem. A lot of patterns are designed with a lot of garter stitch and I get it. It's easy. It's squishy. It's warm. It's also a bit boring <laughs> and the squiggly look is also not my favorite because I don't know if I'm right or wrong with this, and you might correct me if you know better, but I, I think that the garter stitch takes away so much from the 
from the beautiful dye job. So if you if you knit this yarn up in a stocky net, you actually get a lot more of the different colors and tones and the the transition from one to another and the garter stitch just it looks cobbled together <laughs> it's the best i can think of to describe it yeah so this is the plan for this yarn and let's hope that you will see that some someday in the far future with all the projects i have currently planned i think i'm i'm right now at 20 20 different types of yarn and different types of projects so I clearly 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 have to cut down on on buying more yarn because I can't even if I would start knitting full-time I would never manage to use it up in the speed I buy it um, which is a very common theme with my crafts as you might have noticed I mean it won't it won't go bad and I'm, I'm sorry for the sniffles I think today is, is a is a allergy day I've been sneezing since I got up and now my, my nose is starting to run, of course, while I'm filming, because it's so good to do that while on, on video. And anyway, um, at least the yarn doesn't go bad, right? <laughs> so <laughs> the only thing I have to do is not lose interest in knitting anytime soon. <laughs> but still, I have to, I have to um, step back a little. I have gone a bit crazy with all the purchases in the last few months. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Um so I'm going to go off camera now. Um, I need to take care of this allergy situation and take some allergy drugs. And I probably should have breakfast because my stomach is starting to rumble. Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> Can't see her face, but she is... Yeah. Shut up and scratch. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, if you are not watching my floss tubes, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I should be back on Monday with the next crafty chat. Uh, Tuesday is going to be the wrap up of the month and also the announcement of the winner for the giveaway. And Wednesday is going to be the new diamond painting theme of the month for July. So, yeah, two days with no crafty chat. But I think I have enough content lined up to keep you happy, I hope. <laughs> Enjoy whatever you're doing. Stay safe. And we will talk to each other very soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.